Alright guys, this is uh, how I like to cook my shin noodles. These are like Korean noodles, but they're made in uh, USA, uh, specifically Rancho Cucamonga, so California. So I like to put in the flavoring first into a boiling water. Then I want to put the noodle and then I put the eggs. Uh, right now I'm going to probably take two, two, two eggs. Right. I'm gonna open up the flavor packaging. You see, I, I opened it with my other hand. Right now, I'm using my shoulder to hold up the camera, or my phone basically. I don't have a camera. Uh, that's the dried uh, vegetables, and this is like the uh, chili powder sauce. I only put like about half of it. Some people do more or less, depending on what you want to do. Some people don't even use the the dried vegetables, but it's all good. So that's my flavoring. Since it's still boiling, I will pop in the noodles as such so I'll put the crushed noodles from the bag get everything get everything out of it yeah. they've been um, the shin noodle uh, soup your this company they've got uh, noodles pretty good now before they would have a lot of uh, smaller noodles uh, crushed in the bag, but now it's like pretty much almost nothing. And then I let it boil for a little bit, and then I'll put in the egg. Like such. Right now I'm gonna put two eggs because I'm hungry. You can put eggs if you want it's just to add extra protein and yumminess so I'm gonna put two because I'm hungry So uh, I'm gonna let it boil. I could stir a little bit or just like leave it like and such. And I keep it on high, I can lower it if I want to. But it doesn't matter, the temperature is gonna be the same. I I'm gonna wash my hands as well. Um it has the egg gooey stuff on it. Alright, that's it. Have a nice day. And sometimes I'll eat it straight out of the pot because you know I'm a savage, you know, you can do whatever you want. And that's it.